Hey everybody, welcome Hello. to TFT Tarot for Today. Divine Dabblings with, with Oberon. And me, Banshee. Hello, welcome to the show. And it's Which another, show is it? It's another monthly, monthly modality, modality message. message. So welcome. Welcome everybody as we give you the outlook for Taurus season. And it also happens to be Banshee's birthday. So we bid a sad adieu as we look forward into Taurus. <laughs> I'm crying with joy and pain. Aries season is over. Mr. O is happy. <laughs> Me. <laughs> it's okay, baby. I'm 65 today. Good things don't last forever. I don't look a day over 64. Well, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, the monthly Modality message yes. is our unique take on astrology. We are not experts, but we are probably a little better than most people. Well, and yeah, yeah. We combine that with tarot. <laughs> Everybody knows their elemental associations, but we do the modalities, which is really a different way of thinking about it because each modality is a grouping of one of the four elemental signs. Correct. And so we have cardinal fixed and mutable yeah. signs. Uh, and we have a bright reading we use for all of them. But there's at least one part of that reading that is specifically for your aspect. Cardinal right. fixed or mutable. And in a nutshell, the modalities all, each of the three, have a different way of approaching, handling, resolving various things. Uh, so this gives you an idea of over the month where you may be able to best apply your energies or what considerations each of you would have to make. All right. And we use the Celestial Tarot. All right. So we're starting with our cardinal signs, which is Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. This reading's for you for Taurus season. Oh, I have a lot of glare here. Do my best. Okay. Card one is the primary focus for the cardinal mutable, well, the cardinal signs. The primary focus for the modality for the month ahead. All right. All right. And that card is the Two of Wands. <laughs> so your primary focus is planning, I think, for the most part. Uh, you know, you've achieved a certain level of comfort, security, or stability in your life right now, or success. And so now it's where you're going to push it forward next. You actually have achieved a position where planning and review and implementation will come to you naturally in a way. It sounds good to me. And as far as it goes, you know, cardinal signs are all about getting things started. But you know what? To get things off to a good start, you cardinal signs, do a little planning first. All right. Card two, the role, uh, oh gosh, the role your interactions with others may play in the month ahead. I'm sorry, I got a lot of glare. Um, the two, it's another two, but it's reversed. It's the two of pentacles. So, you know, you're... Your interactions with others this month, Cardinal Signs, might be a little shaky. Uh, you know, it might be a little bit demanding, perhaps. Uh, maybe, you know, they're demanding a lot of time in your energy and you just don't have everything in balance. The struggle is real in this <laughs> regard. Yes. And it is uh, more uh, of a balancing act than you're used to. Normally, when the card is the other way around, it still implies you have a full schedule, you have a full idea of various things to accomplish under these circumstances uh, working with others will provide maybe more friction but sometimes that can result in maybe new ideas popping up you know it might be too that you know people just don't understand that you know you you tend to be kind of myopic sometime with your vision in other words if you're working on a goal or an objective sometimes you can leave other people's out of the equation so you know maybe they're looking for a little balance and equal time from you too 
All right, so card three is the opportunities or challenges you may face in the month ahead. And it's the five of cups. So it seems as though the challenge is to take your, you know, don't dwell to the point of obsession over the losses and disappointments you may have had in recent times. Instead, you know, the the opportunity out of this is to take the message and the lessons that you've learned from those losses uh, to, you know, to spur you to success in what you're working on in Taurus season. So your your challenge may be keeping in mind or remembering that sometimes not all is lost. It just may be out of mind. And, and this is for you to sort of take that review again. There's the review word from card one saying it's time to periodically review review what you got going. And finally, card four is how can you best use your modality superpowers to advantage this month? And it's the five of pentacles reversed. Wow, well, you know, your superpowers are about drive, ambition, enthusiasm, moving forward. You have this vim and vigor to win at all costs. But, you know, sometimes you can't go it alone. Um, and so I think you have to realize here that, you know, with the Five of Pentacles reversed, that help is out there. And that maybe in this case, working with others might be to your advantage. Well, as a cardinal sign, this may be saying that although you're used to taking the lead, this would be the superpower moment for you this month of these next four weeks. And that you should seek out at least what you think are the most worthy partners or corollaries to your energies and process. Correct. You don't want any slackers. <laughs> you want people with as much energy and motivation for the, you know, for the end result as possible. Well, I don't know. Let's take a look at this again and okay. see if we can make some sense of it for our uh, cardinal signs. So, so the primary focus was the two of wands upright. And that's basically saying you're positioning yourself to really uh, take effect of what you have achieved and push it forward a little bit. Push it forward on something new. That's what we do, Cardinal Signs. All right. So basically, uh, the role uh, you're... Interactions with others may play in the month ahead, okay. and it's another two. The reverse they, there's two. There's a little of bit of a lack of balance here. There's a little bit of maybe people wanting more attention from you than you have time for, or vice versa. Maybe you need them, and it's just not working out. And when I look at that last card, I sort of see, you know, a corollary there that maybe we can touch on. It's interesting because a lot of these talked about interactions with other people in a way, either the position or the card. And this one is really saying, too, that you have to pay attention to who's around you and maybe give a little. And then, of course, we have the Five of Cups here. Card three, the opportunities or challenges you may face in the month ahead and how best you can achieve them. Well, you know, it's taking the lessons from your losses and doing something constructive with them, I feel, as opposed to just dwelling on them and, you know, being feeling remorseful. That's not going to get you to the end results you want. Being mindful of what you can still be looking at and reviewing. Right. And also using the resources and skills and talents you still have available to push things forward. And so how can you best use your modality superpowers in Taurus season? Well, you know, by pushing forward for sure, but not going it alone. Oftentimes we're the initiators, we're the fire starters. We want to move things forward and, you know, we don't think people can keep up with us. But I do think there is there is better results in working with others. No person is an island, you nor anyone else, and you have the better abilities than maybe the other modality signs to discern who works best with you. Here's why my last note, which is we sure. had two twos right. and two fives, and when we add that yeah. up together, uh, what uh -oh. does that come to? That comes to... 
14, which is 1 plus 4, which is 5. So this is saying lots of energy. Lots this of is a 5 en energy. It's this. a 5 energy yeah. overall for the modality. Which can be challenging, but you know, you, you cardinal signs, you are up for those kind of challenges. So good luck with that. All right. All right. Let's move on to our friends, the fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio, and Aquarius. This is for you. You Fixed are the signs, stable ones. They kind of hold the faith. They keep the faith or they hold the torch. And uh, maybe they provide a little bit of review. Whoops. Here we go. Fix. Okay, fix signs. So your focus, your focus card, uh, primary focus in the month ahead, Taurus season. It's a three of wands reversed reversed hmm. you know it just seems like some of your goals and objectives maybe need to be retooled this month fix signs maybe it's time to use some of that um you know calmness of yours to recognize that you know you don't have to get upset it's just a matter of sitting down and figuring out what will work better for you Fix signs, yeah, you know, some of you will have better qualities to do this, but overall, this is really saying uh, it's time to consider change, you know, um, reapplying the energy. It's hard for you, I understand, you're kind of set in your ways, <laughs> but sometimes things just have to be reconfigured. If it's not, you know, they say if it's not broke, don't fix it, but if it is broke, Fix it. But when you look at each of those fixed signs and you see where their focus could be, you're really sort of saying they each have a different idea about hey, this, I suppose. this, and that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not at all. All right. So what about the role your interactions with others will play in the month ahead? Hey, let them rule. <laughs> you know what? Let the cardinal signs take over. Let the mutables. Um, well, but look, it's an Emperor Aries card. Are, are you sure it's not saying that maybe we fix signs will say we need to be in charge here? Uh, but maybe of the others, <laughs> maybe the role that could be you're trying to exert your my way or the highway thinking Taurus there. Leo Scorpio. <laughs> but I do feel that possibly some others could play a key role in uh, guiding you in the month ahead. So almost in a fatherly fashion. I was going to say so. Maybe it's about some sense of mentoring that maybe yeah. fixed signs will be mentoring the people that they interact with for various reasons. Maybe it's work reasons. <laughs> Maybe it's, you know, relationships. Okay, possibly. I also think the vice versa is true, that you yourselves could find a mentor. Oh. <laughs> I think the cardinal and fixed signs here are having a debate. Obligatory bad joke. Will you read the Mao <laughs> Say Tongue readings while you're doing it? <laughs> okay, the opportunities or challenges. Ah, no, you can't jump on this table. No. He's going to try. <sighs> the, yes, the sun man found us. Sunny is here, but no, you can't do that. The opportunities or challenges you may face in the month ahead and how best you can achieve or tackle them. Well, it's a ton of pentacles upright. Oh, wow. Wow, well, that's an opportunity for sure. I'm wondering if something's going to really happen with Just the financial. Just get a bailout from the emperor Yeah, there. there's some sort of financial <laughs> thing that's really <laughs> beneficent going on. It may be if you are expecting money from particular sources, it's going to come through. There's an increase in family money or money available to you. Uh, there's also maybe money, you know, shared resources just seem to be improved for those, you know, who are partnered, uh, etc. I think that's interesting. Um, I also feel that it can aid you with, uh, you know, with retooling your project or goals. Maybe, you know, maybe th with resources being good, you can invest a little bit more in what you are doing. Now. So a theme is starting to present itself. I believe so. And ultimately, we'll look at that. How can you use your modality superpowers to best advantage this month? How about by... Working with others. <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting. That's it isn't again, it? you know, it's teamwork. Teamwork will get you through. It's kind of like with the with the cardinal. 
I'm watching him. It's kind of like with the cardinal signs. There was this idea of a, a neediness, that they really need people to help them. But here, it almost seems like it's a coming together of, uh, you know, people of like mind that are working together on a team to achieve results. I think there's an interesting point here, though, and that mm -hmm. is, is that we know Mercury is going retrograde in early May, and that may throw a spin on that a little bit, but generally speaking, it looks like it's a good outcome for you if you're building skills with people or if you're trying to cohese oh, your me. skills and work on mutual projects. Excuse me for the yawn. You know, I, I know the problem is he can't get around me, and that's what he wants. He wants to get behind me. Come here. I'm going to see if I can get him back there. That's better. That's safer. <laughs> Hopefully, he okay. can stay out of trouble here. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, I feel here that, that there is results for you by working in teams. The best way you can use your superpowers is to persevere and be accommodating to others this month. Um, you know, whether they're trying... Well, let's go through it again. All right. Let's go through it again. Sorry. Um, let's start with the first card there, which is the three, three of wands. It just, it just seems to indicate your primary focus this month is on retooling or working on things that have not been, the results have not been what you've wanted, you've desired. So you're looking for a better approach and better way to do things. Or maybe the possibility exists that you may have to start, I'm sorry, fix signs from scratch. Right. It seems like the previous ship is not going to come in. Yeah. So, well, on, so your interactions with others this week, I think, will prove very beneficial all the way around with these two cards here. I feel that the emperor is saying that either you will take the lead finally and grab the bull by the horn, so to speak. It's Taurus season, so I'm saying that. And, and get... You know, and, and get things done. Get things in order so that everybody's on the right path. I'd say that the overall focus uh, of your interaction with others is really maybe also respecting delegation. Because I think that's what the emperor right. is. The emperor is not just a person who makes things happen. He has the people who help make things happen. And he treats them well. Yes. You know, you fix signs are good. known for not forgetting the people who help you and appreciating and respecting their, you know, that 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 they are partners with you. It is interesting to note that sometimes the emperor card is a to the astrological sign of Scorpio. What? It's Aries. It even says Aries on that card. Quit stealing my thunder. I have a book to show you. Ah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so then so, it's the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles was the opportunities or challenges you may face. Clearly, opportunities exist to increase money, uh, increase wealth, wealth in however you define it. And I feel here that others, again, seem to be involved in this. Either your tribe or your family or team of co-workers, you know, people who are working with you on the same shared goals. Are you a grant writer? Are you somebody that's trying to figure out how to allocate funding for your projects or situations? This card is saying it seems to be possible this month if you focus your efforts that way. And also, too, don't forget working with the skilled people that you probably can use. Right. And ultimately, right down there, the, you know, the way you can use best use your superpower is to... Be calm, persevere, and work with people of like mind, you know? It's the delegation thing again. It's, you said that. It's the delegation thing again. And also, you know what I feel too, because often this card is about being recognized for your efforts. I think because of where this is, and it's talking about teamwork, and the emperor up here in your interactions with others, it's recognizing the people who have lent you a hand, who are giving you their support, and making sure that they get credit where credit's due as well. Very nice. That's what I think. All right, let's move on to the mutables. So our final sign. And do you want to shuffle? Or should I, I will. All right. So our mutable signs are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. And they generally are the ones who are most likely to be the change agents Stay in there. most areas of I their life. Uh, they have the stronger qualities for change or for sensing change, sensing trends, 
moving with them. So it's no surprise that we see Gemini and Pisces okay. there because they are dual signs that have more than one way about them. Wow, we have to remember to shut door next time. Yes, he wants to get up. And it's so funny, no. he won't even think about the table that's right over there. Yeah, well, I know. Of course, Don't give, give him, him easier ideas. access. Here yeah, he comes pet back. him back there while I shuffle. <laughs> Honestly. I am shuffled. All right. Now it's your turn to placate. I don't know. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm on cat duty. Oh, you see the tail behind us there? <laughs> so please don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed or indicated notifications, it's a great way to keep up with us. We have a number of other prob uh, programming. Problems. Well, we have a number of problems besides that one back there that wants to jump on the table. <laughs> but we love them dearly. And you know what? Uh, sometime in this next month of Taurus, just before we dip into Gemini, we're going to be offering our free... Raffle prize for a crochet version dolly of the TFT mascot. So we'll show that at the end of the show. Okay, so mutables, your focus for the month ahead. Wow, it's the Five of Wands. You know, there's just a lot of cards that are invoking people engaging with others this month and there's no exception here now it can either be very positive and constructive or it can be negative well you know what venus rules taurus and venus is harmony and relationships and stuff right and so i feel this month that there could be a there could be one of two things there could be some constructive dialogue and conversation that might get a little passionate at times but good things can come of it or it could degenerate into egos clashing and some difficulties in relating to one another it's truly one of those cards that maybe can go either way yeah. depending on whether it is either way and a lot of times it is enhanced by other cards for the sake of this reading i think it's better to accentuate the more positive qualities of working with people competing in earnest towards mutual goals so i think one of the things you need to keep in mind when this card has come up is, you know, one of your strengths is going with the flow and being flexible and adaptable. So, you know, listen to others' perspectives and see how, you know, how everything can mesh together so that people can be at peace with one another. All right. All right. So the second card is about... Oh, gosh, I'm messing the deck up here. Uh, the role your interactions, interactions with others may play in the month ahead. Someday we'll get used to this reading. We're still actually fairly new at this new reading. And it's an Nine of Wands reversed. So your interactions with others, you know... I, f I fear here that, now that, let's put that card down, please. So that this card here, where it spoke about the conflict and stuff and possible difficulties in engaging, I know you want positive more with it than negative, but I have to say here, the end result might be that your interactions with others might be, well, you just want to cave in, throw in the towel, and, you know, for the sake of peace, you just let them have their way. And I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing for you, mutables. It's a good thing you're pointing out there because this uh -huh. is very much a mutable kind of thing, especially when you consider some of the signs in the mutable category here. The idea of maybe capitulating with projects or situations to keep the peace or to go along to get along or things like that. And so it may be that the mutable signs are going to feel that energy or that pressure that tells them sometimes to to move aside and not necessarily be in the way of where change is already going. Although mutables offer change, sometimes we get scooped or the mutables get scooped and maybe somebody else's change is more forcibly applied to the 
the situation. Right. And I don't know, like I said, if it's a good idea that you necessarily cave in, but it is in your nature sometimes to do so because you you try to please everybody too hard. And you can't please everybody all of the time, and nor should you if they're definitely wrong. So my, our, I guess my suggestion for you would be to use your best judgment here. Uh, if you really feel you're just going to give in to keep the peace and do things the other way and let the chips fall where they may okay but you know it's really up to you to make that decision and i could see a small chance that maybe some of the mutables are the persons who basically just won't go along uh that will stand be. out so yeah. and that of course so in other it, words you walk away from a situation there really is such a strong relationship between those two there definitely is definitely we'll go over that again so okay number three is the opportunities or challenges you may face in the month ahead how best you can achieve or tackle them and it's the eight of pentacles reversed well that's a challenge <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, it's almost as if you feel like maybe, I wonder, don't you think this is kind of a pattern here? Well, to me, I'm sensing the idea that maybe we're compensating by trying to be spontaneous and not going with what we understand better, what we've learned or what we've trained to. Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. I know you look at it more of a training card where I look at more of a work card. Well, sometimes. in this situation, I'm looking at the idea of acting spontaneously mm -hmm. and forgetting certain things that you should know, whether it's from training or otherwise. Well, mutables being very flexible and, you know, kind of not that spontaneous, more go with the flow. You're easy to change, though. You're ready to change any way the wind blows, and that's the problem here. I feel like this whole situation is transforming you and making you lose your motivation to get things done. You're losing your mojo. You know, you're feeling as though, okay, I had to capitulate and do things your way, so I'm really only half-hearted into this. You feel your talents are being ignored or not being utilized and you have a resentment there yeah or that your opinion you know here was not valued i really am seeing like this string together here into some situation and it is a challenge yeah. for you to figure out if you can actually assert yourself or not i guess that's what this is saying in this position is that it's very challenging for you to try to get your feelings across or try to weigh in the opinion that you feel you know you work from so ultimately, how will all of this end up for you? How can you best use your superpowers in the month ahead? Very interesting. We have the High Priestess here. So clearly, clearly, you have to be wise. You have to kind of rise above the petty possible arguments or bickering. And you have to use your gut to really discern what is going on here and what you really need to do to make this turn out right to me uh when i've thought about group processes where people either try to come to a consensus or not there's always this idea of those who will stand aside those who are not necessarily feeling they're involved in it enough to really keep going against the flow of others they're willing to maybe pull aside and say it's not going to destroy me if this goes this way and maybe that's because it's a call to their deeper natures at that point, that there's a reflection going on that says it really will be okay. You just have to remain true to yourself in the final analysis. So let's go over this again. But you know what? I think I want to run through mine and let you run through yours. Okay, because fine. I think we're deviating just a little, a little bit. bit here. But also because I just see this pattern I want to run through. So basically, whether this is in business or personal relationships, I could see this happening either way. The, the idea here is there seems to be a conflict. There seems to be, and you could make it a constructive one where everybody exchanges ideas and lets their opinions all out on the table and then everybody try to work through them and come up with a solution and remember this could be in a relationship that might be going through some struggles or work environment um i also see here that you know you're too ready to throw in the towel and capitulate to what others want as opposed to maybe what you feel is the right way to go maybe you feel you're not being heard here maybe you feel like there's it, it, or maybe you feel it is too much conflict 
I just want peace and I'm going to go with the flow. And finally here, well, over here we have this idea too that because of that, you feel like you've lost your sputtering, you've lost your motivation, you've lost your drive, you've lost your willingness to work on things because you don't feel that invested anymore. And this, like I said, could even be in a relationship. So be careful here and use this high priestess energy that you have to try to do, to try to be diplomatic, you know, which is another trait of yours, to try to be fair and to try to be sympathetic to others and you know and see where you can find common ground i'm going to work a little bit in reverse and start at the okay. end and suggest that the high priestess representing the superpower mm -hmm. here is really the idea that this month represents a pull into yourself and a look into your own intuitive feelings about this Clearly, there is this sense here that there's things going on, and as immutable, you feel that even they're beyond your ability to influence or control. That kind of bothers you, which leads into the idea that maybe you don't feel whether this is a relationship at work or about work or about personal relationships, you sort of don't feel strong enough to really state your convictions. You mostly feel, I believe, that it's been very challenging for you or hard for you to really express yourself. And once again, just resulting in the idea that you would be better off this month maybe sort of pondering it more on a meditative and really waiting for people to really try to invoke or work with you, which doesn't seem to be happening right now. So that's all we have for the mutables. Good luck with that. It seems like all of the signs are going to be interacting with people, you know, either socially, business-wise, and that the interactions could be, you know, could be positive or not. You know, I, I noticed some issues with some of the signs where it looked like they either really need the help or, you know, that uh, help is there for them. So or they're better off working with others. So, you know, whatever the case may be for you this month, be careful in your dealing with others and be supportive and sympathetic and listen to others like you want others to listen to you. And I'm just going to mention, too, that we are going into a retrograde, so it's setting up even oh, now. Oh, no wonder. Uh, we are going into the Mercury retrograde, uh, and Venus, like Mercury, is a slower, more immediately felt planet. Venus guides Taurus. It's going to guide relationships and situations. I'm wondering if the emphasis on people's situations with each other, which is clearly in all the modalities, is also a result of the, the like Mercury that. retrograde and the Venus kind of interacting. There'll be various squares and oppositions over the course of the, the, the retrograde and its follow-up. So something to mention. It, something absolutely to mention. You know, the retrograde, I think, is an important point because it certainly does mess us with, mess up with communications. So right. be and, careful, And that's going to be everyone. so important this month, too, another salient point. So, hey, we will see you next time when the sun goes into my rising sign of Gemini, right. and it's Gemini season. Absolutely. So about 28 days or so. So take care, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Please like, subscribe, and share the news about our channels. More the merrier here. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. The Tarot for Today logo in doll form. <laughs> One lucky person will get a Tarot for Today doll made by Opal Luna, the author of Fiber Magic. Yay!